go take them risks Cause they know that money gon' come The drug game is global Paying off 20 to 1 Who you telling? You don't think these politicians ain't selling? Doctors ain't selling Cops ain't selling While rocking your melon? Cop car smelling like Cali Blue Dream In New York Brothers like What do you mean? I mean switch the philosophy Think of the economy Plants, herbs, and roots Are nature's technology Bum, 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 bum. We are not the dumb ones We see how the drugs run we see where they come from Governments are selling it Every game one ton They declare a war on drugs When drugs won Brothers on that lockdown Sisters in that lockup Things were good in the hood Till them D's popped up Brothers getting shot up Cause the system's unjust Segregating What's up folks, Permanent Patriot I'm gonna try to go through this real quick Cause there's a lot of shit here uh, Over here at TopSecretWriters.com And the first thing you want to do when you come over here is go to the FOIA research. Freedom of Information Act. That's how you get anything you want. I tell people all the time, they're like, how the hell you get classified documents? Because uh, I'm an American citizen, that's why. Because I know the fucking Constitution, that's why. So do yourself a favor and go and Skittle around in the FOIA research. And then when you're done, come over to the top secret projects. And there's this story here that says DARPA is training robots with YouTube. No oh, shit. What a surprise. Are you sure it's not the other way around? I'm so sick of YouTube. So, I don't know if you've seen in Japan, they've already got, robots have taken everything over. They cook the food, they serve the food, fast food workers are no longer needed. So, anybody fast food worker level and under, your job's gone, you're done, finished, washed up, your career's over. Okay? Now, this part is uh yeah I don't know if you know folks they cloned a woolly mammoth and it says in the Bible they're gonna be creating all sorts of weird crazy shit and weird crazy shit's gonna be happening on the planet and it's happening <laughs> so Transitioning, trying to think of where I need to go next. Now listen, how did I know that shit the very first day on 9-11? Because of this man. World leader in aviation, John Lear. People call him a kook because of the shit that he talks about. Hey, people seem strange when... Telling stories of strange people. John Lear. The fucking man in aviation. Okay? I think he knows what he's talking about. He says open and shut case. Okay? That's all I needed to hear. That was the end of the story for me. Everybody's coming out with 10 million fucking, oh, this happened, and all oh, that happened. No, this happened. Do you see a fucking left wing there, folks? How's this, folks? There's not even a fucking plane there. Those are particles put together. There's a fucking hologram. slow that down you can very clearly see the fucking plane disappear before it hits the building disintegrated look at there's not even a fucking place where the plane went in in the fucking building there's not even a hole <laughs> now let me tell you how they pulled this off right it's all about timing 
See, the fucking plane just disappeared. It's all about timing. Which means, which means somebody was close by with a fucking remote. Because as soon as they seen that fucking hologram get close to that building, they hit the bombs, and I'm thinking it was nuclear thermite, some shit like that. It's the only thing that will burn steel like that. Not good enough? No doubt. I fucking hate going through this shit, I really do. Where's the planes? I hate this fucking thing being so close to my other player. Yeah, whatever, folks. Yes, the fucking people on the ground and the reporters were talking about planes and you can hear the fucking people around the CNN reporters going, what planes? What planes? <laughs> they didn't find any engines. They found one engine a few blocks away that wasn't even fit to go on one of those planes. Oh, for everyone who thinks that uh, the U.S. government isn't working with these extraterrestrials are sadly mistaken, and this video proves it. Let's see this fucker go through the dimension again. Pretty friendly to me. Looks like they're just out for a friendly stroll. That's just shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you miss it? Watch this fucker go down in the water. This dude is fucking bugging. He's like, I'm already getting angry, so I better, I better just show you that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cover this. Okay, I know about all of this stuff. Okay, I did this shit in the air force, so I don't need any debate on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it. I hope I don't get pissed off. Man. I hope I don't. But, in the blow your mind category, and for people who think I was fucking kidding, welcome to Earth Defense Force. Mars Defense Force and Defending Human Colonies. Okay. And then over here, there's more aerospace secret programs. Okay, let me go through this quick for you. So this guy says, that uh, the main human colony on Mars is called Ares Prime, which is located inside a crater. And most people know where that is, who are looking at Mars. So uh, he says the air is breathable on the surface, and the temperature could be warm at times. He claims there are two indigenous species on Mars, 
both of which are highly intelligent. One of these was a reptilian species that was very aggressive in defending its territory. The other was insectoid species capable of the same thing. Um, Mars Defense Force, Mars Colony Corporation did not encroach on the territory of the indigenous Martians. There would be stable relations. Uh, after serving 17, 20 years tour of duty, events changed dramatically when virtually all combat personnel from the Mars Defense Force were asked to retrieve an extraterrestrial artifact from a cave sacred to the indigenous reptilians. And that is why they have been up there. Our soldiers are up there fighting an intergalactic war with whoever. Defending human colonies. Skype interview, Marine after 17 years on Mars, authorized to reveal truth for U.S. national security. Okay. Earth Defense Force, Secret Space Fleet. Mars Defense Force, Defending Human Colonies. Secret Mars Colonies. Watchmen. Super Soldiers. Those are the dudes. Project Moonshadow. Motherfuckers are having intergalactic wars. <laughs> Fucking 20, 30 years at a time. Unreal. Real Mars findings. This is a uh, blue Aryan. They look like birds, they say. They speak telepathically. They got all sorts of different alliances all out there. There's different alliances with each other. And uh, it's incredible how many species there are. Over a hundred that they know of, at least. And here you got all the experts weighing in on it and Mike oh man Michael Sala does an incredible video talking about it and folks exopolitics is something that nobody wants to get involved in except me because I'll fucking whoop somebody in it got galactic diplomacy you can check the archives See the research papers, books, and DVDs. Corey Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Corey Good. See, Apollo missions ended because extraterrestrials prevented U.S. Secret negotiations over disclosure of extraterrestrial life. First man on moon dies along with secrets of what he saw. Secret space programs. Spirit being now. Folks, let me tell you, Neil Armstrong. He used to give lectures to classes of upcoming astronauts. The last one he did, he started bawling his eyes out and telling the class how sorry he was that they're going to be sadly disappointed. When they find out, when they reveal one of truth's biggest layers, he said. So he knew. And, and fuck, he showed us all how they got those pictures from the space shuttle. Since you can't go to the moon. I mean, what the fuck, folks? Four or five, more than that, it's eight to twelve astronauts at least admitted this shit. And they're the top ones. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, a bunch of the fucking Russian ones. Get real, folks. <clears throat> this is 
many things. This is not just one thing. This is killing everything. Including the fucking ionosphere. I see some of the pretty... Show you got photos? Nope. I see some of the pretty ones. Nanotechnology. Yeah, there we go. So the shit that falls from the sky, a lot of people say it's falling in down like spider webs. Uh, it's actually called chemtrail snow, is what it is. And it's it's byproduct, is what it is when you think about it. Now, it could cause more gelins, fucking dementia, Alzheimer's. I mean, the worst of the worst diseases that you could possibly fucking have. This shit, this is all aluminum and barium and strontium falling from the sky. And it gets in the freaking plants and on top of the trees. That's why you see all the fucking tops of the trees dying. And they, it tends to set the fucking trees on fire a little quicker, as you would imagine, with chemicals on them. And it's known that aluminum causes is a major cause of Alzheimer's. And, uh, this shit is very fucking bad. I mean, the EPA is raising levels on everything and still calling it safe. Let me show you what this does. There's your time trail. And now, depending on what they want, they can make it stay out there for a certain amount of time and spread a certain width or whatever. And um, depending on that, it depends if they're seeding a cloud or... I mean, this is just solar radiation poisoning. Look it. Right there, boom. What a pretty sunset. No, not a pretty sunset. No. Because all that fucking orange and red that you see there is all aluminum and barium and strontium. And who the fuck knows what else they got in there? Hello. They're not fucking up there playing tic tac toe, folks. I got several videos of those I did as well. What you want to do is go to geoengineeringwatch.org. Let's go there now. <laughs> and folks, what all that what all that shit is doing is it's fucking burning holes in the ionosphere. You burn a fucking hole in that, or any other sphere for that matter probably gonna get a black hole and the whole fucking universe for all we know could get sucked into the black hole. Who the fuck knows? Okay. Geoengineering. I've been telling you forever, this is probably like the first thing I started on. Folks, they could control the weather. 
They can create storms. They can create earthquakes. They can pinpoint earthquakes. I've showed you the patents that they had for it. I've showed you, I mean, proof beyond proof. And once again, hello, hello, okay, you click on those. Those are good to look at. Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Katrina, uh, Hurricane Andrew, and who the fuck knows how many other ones were all engineered. They can steer hurricanes. They can stop hurricanes. They can start hurricanes. They can do the same with tornadoes and earthquakes. It's called weather wars. Started back in the 40s. Okay. You want to check this out. This is probably, besides the vaccines and the GMOs, this is probably the most diabolical threat facing this fucking planet right now. And it all ties in with the rest of their sick fucking plan. And that's smoking gun proof. And by smoking gun, it means case closed. That's what it means. And since you were uh, too unpatriotic to do your fucking job as an American, governments like Malaysia and Indonesia, a bunch of other governments have done that for you and indicted George Bush and a bunch of his cabinet and a bunch of other former top U.S. government officials have all been indicted, tried, and convicted of war crimes. That's why you never see them leave the country after they're done being president. That's why you ain't seen Barack Obama go much places these days, except at a fucking golf course. Yeah, they got a fucking number on them. They ain't invincible. And, and believe me, believe you me, there's some fucking real three percenters out there watching these motherfuckers. Just waiting for the right moment. Because nobody wants to be the first shot. That's the only thing. If that didn't have, if that wouldn't lose the moral high ground for you, these fuckers would have been dead a long time ago. I could promise you that. Over at N5D. Top secret programs you're not supposed to know about. <clears throat> I'm going to get questions on this one. These are just all the plans ever since they had fucking flight. Okay? Since back then. And I'll go through I'll go through more of those. But I think first should do this. This is real footage. All of it. People think it's from the movies. Contrary. Some of it is used in the movies. Okay? And a lot of this has to do with predictive programming that the CIA has put in the movies. They hand them scripts and shit. People from the X-Files have admitted this. People and in, in, uh, directors in Hollywood have admitted this. That's how they tell you the truth. Elysium, Interstellar, uh, Transhuman, movies like that, Hunger Games, all real. That is their exact plan. Exact. Now, this is, uh, well, it's part of a video anyways, because I really never, I really never finished this video because there's so much of it, of it to take in. But yes, this is real. And, 
that is a very real UFO. And you're about to see a very real demon entity, not an alien. Folks, this is from like a 1983 commercial in England. So don't tell me that this is bullshit. This is from a fucking 1983 commercial in England. Find it anywhere online. It's happened live while they were making the fucking commercial. See ya. Happened to catch that. And look at here it is dropping it, dropping the cow. Bloodless. Probably organless. But very neatly. Now look. Yes. Yes, that is a fucking alien waving goodbye to his friends. <laughs> <laughs> now folks they they do this uh these aliens live underground because they're demons that's where hell is <laughs> but they're they're in these dumbs deep underground military bases and that's an, another story bye and they've done analysis on it, and that thing right there is about 9 to 12 feet tall. And then it's got a little kid there with them. And here they go, walking down under the mountain. And then watch, you can see this thing take off. Good thing it was closed. Okay. Watch him go to another dimension. Get out of the way, Wick. Watch. Back to the future. a lot more videos.